Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's boy Swiper Boom here with another eating video. What's going on? How are ya? I got tacos. I got a whole bunch of different kind of tacos. I bought these at a little taco hut or taco stand, taco truck over in the Upper East Side. And we have al pastor, carne asada, uh, birria. I have some queso fresco right here too, and a bunch of salsas and a jarrito. Uh, I'm starving, so let's just go in here. All right, I'm gonna put some. What's up, guys? Make sure to go to my YouTube and watch this whole entire video. What? What are you doing? Don't be taking my radishes. All right. You said the green salsa was better? Flavor wise, I think. Okay, I'm gonna put some queso fresco and the bedia. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do both salsas. The red wasn't too hot. I like how it was, it was thick, though. Mm -hmm. It was thick stuff. And the ladies there were, so it was like two older Mexican ladies. What was the place called? Uh, tacos y quesadillas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there on the Upper East Side on, what street was that? 69th? 69th. 69th and 69th and 3rd. Or something like that. Yeah. We're going to get this thumbnail and we're going to eat this real quick because I'm starving. All right. Oh, wait, maybe the other side looks, I don't know, push it forward here. Mm. <laughs> That's how you get a thumbnail. All right. Oh, it's juicy. You gotta get a bite of this. Let me take a few more though. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How long was that video? Like two oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> and you showed like all the tacos and stuff? Yeah. Let me get a bite so I can go back to the bed. Yeah, and come on. Into my cave. Oi, how am I gonna do this? I'm not a fan of video tacos, but damn, these are fucking good. I really taste my. Mm. Bring me the other one. I can't taste much of these. Maybe it's because I just need. So if you didn't know, video is like um like stew. Shredded stew meat. Really juicy. Sometimes you get a little you can get a little side of consomme, whatever it's called. But my favorite taco by far is the al pastor. So let's try the al pastor now. Uh, it's basically um Marinated pork with cilantro, onions, pineapple. They put their own green sauce on top, but we're gonna put more. And the red. And the queso fresco. I've never tried this place, guys, so. We're gonna see. I'm big on judging Al Pastor Tacos. So, oh, damn, I didn't put the limon. The limon. Okay. Okay. Al Pastor. Hey, go on. No up. Oh. That's really good. Mm.
That was a much better bite. Yeah, this is bomb. It's very hard finding good Mexican food in New York, even though there's a lot of Mexicans here, but most of them are from Puebla, which is a city in Mexico. No. Hey. This is crazy because my favorite tacos were al pastor. But okay, you know, before I start judging. Oh God. Can never go wrong with the jarritos. And I haven't had mango in a while. Let's do a, the classic carne asada. Let's do a classic carne asada taco. See how that goes. Put this queso fresco. Carne asada, if you didn't know. Seasoned beef, grilled. Um, then you put cilantro, onions, salsa, lime juice. I put that queso fresco on top, which isn't really traditional, but I like it. More salsa. All right, so the first one was that, that stew, that beef stew taco with a birria. This one's the marinated pork, al pastor. And now we're doing the carne asada, which is a grilled steak. These are big, by the way. This, these are probably the biggest tacos I've ever ordered um, from anywhere in New York City. And New York City prices per taco averages between $4 to $6. And the fact that this is the biggest one, the biggest tacos I've ever had in New York City, it's kind of worth the $4. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but the Bidia tacos are my favorite out of this. <laughs> the sauce says I wish were more flavorful. Yeah, the salsas aren't super flavorful. They're good. They're not bad. They're like a, they're like if anybody tried these salsas, they're standard, standard salsas for real. Um, but it's just that we've been spoiled with Doña Mati's. Um, there's a place right around the corner from our apartment called Quesadilla Doña Mati and they make their in-house salsa right there in front of you and it's amazing it's amazing we tell them all the time like can we get more salsa we'll pay for it we'll pay for it I swear and they always hook us up with more and then we say hey we're gonna pay more for more it's pretty awesome um I've just I've never had good birria tacos, and these are really good. And I just have to say, I might have to go there and get all birria tacos next time. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never been like a huge fan of birria tacos, never. When the birria taco like trend started happening, like where everybody was putting on social media back in like 2000. 18, 19, whatever, and like dipping the birria tacos in the fucking consomme, whatever, soup. And um, 
I was just like, yo, why are people walling out for these tacos? They're, they're not that great. And I've given places chances and all that. They're just not. It's just beef stew tacos. That's all that is. And these are just really flavorful, really juicy. These are definitely worth the hype. <clears throat> yeah, it's dripping. It's so juicy. Delicious. Messy, but delicious. Um, I guess it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to talk about it? So for everybody wondering, come here, Aggie. come here, come on, come on, come here, come here, come here, come on, come on. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a boy. It's a boy. We are in the second trimester, and um, yeah, we are happily pregnant. Evelina is carrying a beautiful baby boy in her tummy. And that thing is wiggly as hell. He will not stop moving in there. Um, I've been, we, it's really hard to hold back talking about this kind of stuff because we are so consistent on social media that, um, you know, and the way she wanted to do it, she don't know what she's doing. She don't, she don't know if she wants a big, like, oh, I'm going to make it a big announcement. No, what she did was, I, I feel comfortable enough to tell this one person. Then a week later, now you, now you're the chosen one. Following week, you're the chosen one. Second week, you're the chosen one. A month, you're the chosen one. Abby's just picking and choosing through. <laughs> and I'm over here like, I ain't telling nobody. I ain't telling nobody. So we're, and then I started doing the whole like, all right, I'm gonna tell this one person, then I'm gonna tell this one person. So it just got to the point where it's being ridiculous. So, um, yeah. Our jobs now, um, they finally all know. So they're all freaking out about it. First people to know were our parents. And they're freaking out. Should I say the name? What are you going to do? Are you going to say the name or not? Yeah. You are? Okay. Well, um, she said it was okay. So the baby's name is Roberto. And the middle name is Oli. Um, so we're honoring, obviously, like me, but my father... Uh, my dad's name is Roberto, Roberto, I'm Roberto, and now the little one's going to be Roberto. And Oli is Evie's uh, father's name. So we're honoring my father and her father, Roberto Oli Campas. And um, it's great because it also honors both Rockies, Old Man Rocky and this Rocky, um, because the initials are ROC. So... It's fun. It's a fun end. The second I told my brother, he uh, freaked out and was like, oh, we're going to call him Rolly. So, <laughs> so it, it was just, uh, 
it's fun. This is this is I'm I'm very excited, but I'm very nervous excited. Um but I don't know. It's it's this is a weird announcement because I don't know what to say, Mama. You know, at least you get like a chance to like I'm I'm gonna you know, once I film a video or do something, I'm gonna these are the words I'm gonna say. Thank you for everybody minding their business. <laughs> also, thank you to the people that didn't mind their business and figured it out. Um, I don't care. I'm too happy to... You guys got to remember, if you've been watching me for a while and you know me, um... In the beginning of this YouTube stuff that I did, I used to constantly preach how I'm, from the things that I went through before with my sobriety and all this alcohol, alcoholism and all that stuff and, and getting better and healthier and not drinking and all that stuff, I, my, my original journey was, you know, I've, I, I've become very happy with myself, with what the work, what, with what work I've put into myself. I've become very happy with myself. And I accepted the fact that, you know, it's okay. I'll be alone, you know, and, and for the rest of my life. And I accepted that. And then once I became happy inside with myself, um, this one just showed up out of nowhere. And I let her know in the beginning, like, I don't, like, I like you, you like me, but we're, I'm not, like, I don't think relationship, like, no. Uh, and, and I became a relationship guy. And then, um, even in our relationship, it was like, I'm not a marriage type of dude, like, I'm not gonna, no, like, and then I became a marriage type of dude. <laughs> and then with the whole even parenting thing, like, I'm not, like, I might seem like a funny, go lucky you know, I'm having a good time always type of guy, but that isn't like those things. Whenever people say you're going to be, oh, you're a fun guy. You're hilarious. Like you're going to be a great dad. It's like, I don't look at those things as like, oh, these are qualifications to be responsible for somebody's life. Parents that are actually like <laughs> serious and have a good head in their shoulders and like, they're the ones. So like, and then look at me, I ended up turning into a, so now I'm a husband and, and now I'm a father and it's just like it's it's overwhelmingly beautiful. It's um I've never been more happy in my life and it's it's yeah, it is scary. It is scary. So um shout out to everybody showing us love, shout out to everybody who figured it out, shout out to everybody who's just finding out now. Um thank you for all the love to everybody. And, uh, you know, I think I'm going to stop talking, um, because I'm, I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> so, um, we just came back from the doctor and we, uh, got the newest updated sonogram. Baby was jumping around little, little Rolly and, uh, I couldn't be ever, you know, Oh, look at this. I got Swedish candy. A lot of half-bitten Swedish candy. But yeah, that's the news. I wish I had a balloon where I can burst it and powder comes out. It's a boy. If he chooses to be. If that was if that's what he he's if that's what the gender he wants. Whatever gender he wants, I don't care. little mushroom anyways guys vessels i love y'all thank you so much blessings thumbs up the video if you like it thumbs down if you don't comment subscribe and we will keep you guys updated through a new journey i promise love y'all peace